how do I know if my pool pump is running properly? Well, I mean, first of all, just kind of look at it and listen to it. Does anything look strange or sound different than you're used to? That would be the first thing that I would be looking at. And further to that, when I say look at the pump, what might you be looking for? I mean, aside from flames shooting out of it, which would be a very bad sign, what you probably want to do is look down through the pump lid. Normally, there should be no air visible. It should run with a full chamber of water. And if yours doesn't, you probably should have noticed by now how yours does run, because there are some times and some reasons where pumps will run without a full chamber of water. But typically speaking, there should be only water visible down through the lid of your pump. So I'd take a look at that and I'd listen as well. Does the pump sound like it's running properly? Does it sound like there's rocks tumbling around inside of it? Because that would be a typical sound that would be associated with a problem called cavitation or starving the pump for water might be another way to consider it. And while we're talking about that, let's talk about the water level in your pool. You should go and double check the water level in your pool. If it's too low, the pump's not going to run properly, and it might not be totally obvious. It might try to run and run a little bit and then starve for water and then gurgle and shake around and keep repeating that process over and over. And this would, again, be something, a symptom of a water level that's just slightly too low. Or if the water level is completely too low, if the water can't get into the skimmer mouth, well, you're probably going to have a hard time priming and running that pump. So go and double check that. Pay close attention to the uh, the skimmer weird door. That's that floating flapper door in your skimmer. Those can get stuck sometimes, whether from age or corrosion on the springs or even just physical debris obstructing it. If the weird door gets stuck up and down, you will still get water in the skimmer, enough to even prime the pump, but it will fail to be enough water to continue to provide the pump uh, with the water it needs, and ultimately it'll take a big gulp of air and it'll lose prime and stop running, and, and that might be the problem that you're experiencing. Again, this relates to water level in the pool and the skimmer weird door getting stuck, a very common problem. So what else can you look at to see if your pool pump is working properly? What is the pressure on the filter pressure gauge? You should know what the regular pressure that your system runs at. And the reason this would be important is because how else would you know if there was a problem? How else would you know when it is time to clean your filter? You should always know what the clean operational pressure on your filter gauge is. And if you knew that, I would ask you to double check that right now. Is it the normal pressure that your system runs at? Let's say 7 PSI is the normal clean operational pressure for your system. If you notice that the pressure is 0 or 1 or 2 PSI, as well as the pumps, sounds a little funny to your recollection. Well, these are all symptoms that would indicate maybe the pump isn't running properly. So probably turn it off. And the, the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and double check all of your valve orientations. This is especially true if you were recently working on your pool pump or you did, you know, like a backwash in your filter or something like that. You might have turned one of the valves and then forgotten that you turned one of the valves. So I would definitely start at the beginning through the suction line, pump filter, heater, back through the return lines. Any valves you come across, you should manually double check. Is Just trace with your finger where is the water going. And you should double check and make sure you're not deadheading the pump anywhere. And that can happen whether on the suction line or the pressure side. If you've got all of the lines closed via the valves, the system is absolutely not going to run. And it might sound normal, but it's definitely not going to move any water. So these are the first things that I'm looking at if I'm trying to determine if there's a problem with my pool pump. And I hope you found this information helpful. If so, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.